Now to an update on a train accident in Hoppers Cove that left a 16 year old boy dead and a community devastated. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now and Imani, what new details have police uncovered? Doug and Leslie, it's been one day since the fatal accident, leaving little time for authorities to gather details and leaving morning community members asking questions. But today, Coppers Cove police do tell me that their initial investigation shows that the boy was actually walking directly on the train tracks when he was hit and killed. The BNSF train was traveling westbound in the 700 block of West Avenue D when it struck the mail. He was pronounced dead by Justice of the Peace Bill Price just before 7 yesterday night. Officers also say they're preparing to review video captured on the locomotive to piece together what all took place leading up to the accident. A spokesperson for the train company says the two uninjured crew members who were on the train during the incident will be interviewed. He also says he spoke with investigators earlier today and found that there are no additional witnesses to interview at this time and expects the investigation to wrap up quickly.